Welcome to the Twist News. I'm Erica Gray. Today is day three of the horrific war that the terrorist organization Hamas launched onto Israel. Today I attended an emergency IDF briefing by Elnet. Elnet stands for the European Leadership Network, and they work on improving relations between the European Union and Israel. Essentially, they act as a diplomatic arm. And I had the honor of attending an Elnet conference in Paris in May. And one of the things that I do on this channel that's very different from other commentators or other news outlets is I attend a good deal of events so that I can network, meet people, really learn about these various groups. And this is what I do on this channel that's a little bit different. I'm constantly at another event. I just got back from Reggio Calabria, where I was with Giorgia Maloney's Brothers of Italy and the European Conservatives, and I'm heading back to another event where I will be in Ireland and actually visiting the Irish Parliament and also again with the Conservatives. But my reporting, I want to be balanced. So I've also been with the Spinelli Group and the European Federalists and some key members of the European movement. So that's what this channel offers a little different. I'm a different talking head than the usual talking head. And also I get to speak with policymakers and some key policymakers and throw questions at them. So concerning this meeting today with Elnet, this was very eye-opening. There was a lot that was stated. And so I'm going to be presenting shorter videos, but in parts. And the first one today is going to focus on Yassi Abravanel, the Deputy Director for Incoming Delegations for Elnet Israel. And Yassi Abravanel is a former entrepreneur in the fields of telecom and homeland security in Israel and beyond, with extensive experience in work vis-a-vis -vis governments in West Africa and Israel, and as a Jewish agency's Alaya representative in Paris, came out with some unbelievable statements that I'm going to share with you on the situation on the ground right now in Israel. And he talked about how he visited with an elderly couple. And this elderly couple had a shelter and he was hearing from them what was going on around them. That is just horrific. So now I'm going to share with you his statements. Mr. Abravanel, in talking about Israel's defense system, stated it was not designed for terrorists on the ground. Israel is protected from missiles, but not from terrorists on the ground. As he told the story of this elderly couple, he reiterated that they stated Hamas was entering apartments and killing one by one. And he also stated that in Israel right now, funerals are every 15 minutes. In addition, he came out with a proposal that Israel's going to, in the future, need a shelter system for every home to have a shelter system. I want you to imagine that. I want you to imagine living in a country where this is a necessity, where this would even be proposed, an indoor shelter system. In addition, he talked about the horrific scene of bodies on the ground, the buildings, the killings one by one from these terrorists. But let's look again at his statements. The fact that Hamas was even able to get around Israel's missile system by launching a ground offensive and having these terrorists go in on the ground, which Israel was not prepared for. But you also have to listen to the barbaric actions on the part of Hamas entering these apartments and killing family members one by one. And then the shocking quote that funerals are every 15 minutes. 
This is a horrific time right now for Israel. And this information needs to get out there. You need to share this video so people know what's going on on the ground in Israel because there's so much misinformation that's out there. So many false narratives that are taking place. And there's the suppression of news. I know my channel, when I started on the very pro-Israel path and talking against a two-state solution, how a one state with Israel sovereign makes more sense. Guess what? My channel was suppressed by YouTube. So this message is a very hard message to get out there. Is it any wonder that Israel, who has been talking about what's going on with Hamas, with the PLO, that the world has not gotten the message. And it's concerning that even now, the world may not fully get the message of these kinds of details because of this suppression that takes place in the media. And that's because there's some kind of a censorship in the media of this kind of information. So please share this video. These are horrific quotes. Funerals every 15 minutes. Hamas entering apartments, killing one by one. Hamas studied Israel's defense systems to know that Israel would not be protected on the ground. And the killings are on par with ISIS. This is horrific. I've seen things on Twitter that are just so shocking. This is the reality. So for more, please subscribe to this channel and check out our Amazon store. Till next time.